Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was um, thinking about what I should have added yesterday to the video. I had added a few pictures from McDonald's and um, in one of my comments someone commented and it was Mike Carnomad. He he kind of likes the Hamburglar. Well, I I was the Hamburglar in the outfit. I have a picture of the Hamburglar and it's with one of my co-workers and I will put that picture in. But you know, when I was Hamburglar, I used to um, go to the county fair and hand out Be Our Guest coupons to the people. And I remember um, this one day when I was walking and Maggie used to take me around when we would go. And one time when I was walking, I got socked in the head. Yeah, somebody actually just hauled off and socked my head. And um, she goes, did he just hit you? And I go, yeah. And you go, okay. And I was okay inside because you couldn't feel anything when they hit you. Then I had another one that came up to me. You know how kids like to hug the Hamburglar? Well, <clears throat> this one person, she... Or was it a he? I don't know. I couldn't tell what she was or what it, whether it was boy or girl. I don't remember. All I know is she came up and hugged me, hugged me really tight, and she said, it's a boy. <laughs> I thought, ho, oh, oh, ho, these kids are not very, yeah. They hugged me to th and they thought I was a boy. Well, I'm not a boy. But anyways, kids were not very nice. Then um, we would go to where the uh, the stage was, where they had the entertainment, and they had Elvis up on the stage, and Elvis called me up there, and so I got to dance with Elvis, Elvis Presley, uh, an, inter uh, an impersonator. It wasn't yeah. the real guy. <laughs> He's been dead for a long time. But um, I will put the picture of the Hamburglar in. I'm going to do this again but it makes it easier. I'm going to put the picture of the Hamburglar in right here. Okay, now I also was watching Bob today on Mountain Crest Farms and he was talking about money. Well, it brought to mind when I would go to the store. My mother used to send me to the store to get her something and she always sent me with cash. And when I'd get to the store and try to buy whatever it was, they'd say, is this real money? Well, I brought down some old money and with new money so you can see the difference. And I would hand them, it would be a $10 bill that looked like this. Whereas the new money looks like this. See the difference? I think you do. Um, and they go, is this real? And I go, yes, it's real. Or I would hand them a $5 bill that looked like this. And they were expecting a $5 bill like this. Or I might hand them a $20 bill that looked like this. And they go, are you sure this is real money? And I go, yes, it's real money. Because they were expecting a 20 that looked like this. And you know, the old money didn't have that line that's inside. Like if you hold it up to the light, you can see a line inside. The old money doesn't have that. But And the picture was a lot smaller, and there was no color in the money other than it was just green. Kind of a green color. And they used to um, question, does she have real money? Yes, it's real money. So a lot of this old money I probably should just take to the bank and let them have it so that they can destroy it or do whatever it is they do with it and give me some new money because people, even the machines won't take these old dollars. If you try to put one of these in the machine, whoops, in the machine, the machine refuses it. It doesn't recognize it as real money. How is that struck? It, yeah, it doesn't. Also, I was thinking, how old are you? Do you ever feel like you're not the age that you're supposed to be? Or you, like tonight, oh gosh, tonight you missed out on a good one. I was talking about age to, to Jim and I said, well, I'm 76. And he looks at me and goes, you're how old? And I go, well, yeah, I do reverse numbers. No, I'm 67. <laughs> because
because we were trying to figure out how old things were. You know, when you say something is like 100 years old, you think, nah, it can't be. Oh, yes, it can be because if I'm, and that's when the 76 came up, but I said, but if I'm 67 and it was something that my parents had for many, many years, it's got to be at least 100 years old by now because I'm more than halfway there myself. And so we were talking about that. And also I'm going to put in a little bit of the chickens. They were so happy out in the grass. I will try tomorrow morning. I've had requests to see them come out of the, in the chicken run. If I remember, I will set up a camera so that when I open the door and they come out, um, you'll see them come out and you'll see a couple of them fly out because they actually fly out of the coop. And yes, Blue Bike and Doyle, it's a new, new um, he says something about flu the coop. <laughs> when the chickens were getting out, he says, it, I don't know how he put it, but it was something about flu the coop. Okay, that's it for tonight. I hope you had a great day. I did. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. I come outside and as soon as the girls see me, they start, a couple ran towards me. Maybe they'll go back out. There's two of them right there that came up. They are thinking that I'm bringing them something, but they're enjoying the extra grass. Look at that. And our snow, it's all melting. I am so glad that it's melting. It's melting. Feels like the Wizard of Oz there for a moment. But anyways, there they are, all the beautiful girls. And the one, I came outside to see the girls and they're all out in the, in the um, grass. They're liking it a lot. I, ha I was out here earlier and I tried, but my autofocus wasn't working. And come to find out, it was turned off. Well, Jim checked the camera, and now it's back on. So there they are, all of the girls. That white one over there, the white one right there. That is my rooster. And the little dark brown one that's with it, that's the one that was, they were hatched out at the same time. This one right here that looks pretty scruffy, she's molting. Notice all of her feathers are kind of not very pretty. She's real light colored because she's lost a lot of her dark feathers. And um, her neck is really not very pretty. She looks like a cartoon character. I actually have two of them that are molting. The other one that's molting is somewhere out there. That's a song too. Everything is, uh, if you if you were to say any 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 line that you use is a is a song. There those guys are. We'll open it up. I can't I can't find them. I'm looking through the camera lens. The road is very noisy, but there they all are. They're all out into the grass.